Hello guys, Brad Jimenez of Eastern Long Island Sound Fishing and today I'll be setting up my new light jigging spinning setup which I'll be mostly using for uh, two-tog or uh, blackfish uh, fishing and the reel I'm gonna be using is this Pen Conflict 2 uh, this is the 2500 size apparently this is the latest spinning reel models that Penn has manufactured the 2500 is just right for me it's light and it holds this the line I need uh, which is uh, I'm gonna be using a 20 pound braid uh, this Berkeley x9 braid here 20 pounds and it this this reel will hold about 160 yards which is more than i need for the type of fishing that i do and then another thing that's um, that's why i i picked the pen conflict too is the line retrieve this the line retrieve for this uh, reel is 33 inches per crank which I really don't need for tog fishing, but just in case I'm gonna use this for casting, it's much better that I have a high speed um, uh, reel. So let's open it up and let's see. And here's the reel. And of course, with All unboxing it includes the manual inside plus the spare a spare washer here plastic washer or a, a spacer which you use to kind of move the spool forward forward if let's say when you're retrieving you'll see your line um, bunching up more on the front so you you'll put a spacer so it will be evenly um, spread out onto the reel anyway and well it's a well balanced reel and as you can see the manner how they lighten this reel is by uh, doing some cutouts you'll see there are cutouts on the spool and also there are cutouts here on the um, on, on the handle shaft on the handle shaft so that's how they made it uh, lighter they reinforced the spool with uh, carbon fiber and also they also reinforced the handle uh, with I think is uh, it seems to be carbon fiber uh, but you know what it's still not as uh, light as my uh, well the way it feels it's not as light as my Shimano Stratic 3000 size um, according to uh, online it said 7.9 ounces but on the box it's 8.2 ounces all right so next um, what what i'm going to do is i'm going to spool this uh with a 20 pound braid uh this is the berkeley x9 and this is 164 yards so the capacity for this reel is rated at 160 yards so let's see All right, guys. So first, I am going to uh, attach the the line, the braid to the spool holder. Guys, okay, so I'm going to attach the braid here on the spool holder. So I'm okay and I'm going to tighten it as 
much as I can. Okay. Pressing the springs on each side. So you gotta put a lot of tension on the spool. Okay. Alright, there you go. Now the the proper way of spooling line on a spinning rail is not this way where you're going to use you're going to just reel it in okay that's not the proper way of doing it because if you do it that way i can almost guarantee you you're going to have a twist or a line twist on, on the braid and as you cast next thing you know your line will get tangled because of that line twist so what to prevent that line twist what you're gonna do is you have to remove the spool okay. so this is a Berkeley spooling station okay there you go move that so I'm gonna remove the spool and there's this is the the this is where you put the spacer the plastic spacer right there uh, let's say you notice that when you're reeling your line is bundling up more to the front of the spool then you can add a spacer there or you can you know take take out some spacers if your line is on the back of the spool okay anyway going back so this is how the, how you properly spool a, a spinning reel let me just remove the There you go. All right. Now I'm gonna attach this pole here. I have a. Uh, there you go. This pole holder here. So again, I'm using a Berkeley spooling station. There you go. And the good thing about the pen conflict too the bottom of spool is lined with rubber already so I don't have to um, usually I use uh, an athletic tape so when I tie the line it will have grip so what I'm how I tie the line is I use a hangman's knot so that's the hangman's knot there then now I would lock that hangman's knot by making an overhand knot on the end of the line. Okay. Just uh, cut the excess line here. There you go, and let's tighten it. There you go. It's tight. Let's get some line first. All right. Now I'm gonna use this wet rag to guide the line to spread the line on the spool. Okay. Let's do this. I made an error on this part and I apologize as you can see instead of turning the spool counterclockwise I was in fact turning it clockwise so I ended up stripping the line and respooling the line again almost done here That's it. Oops. There you go. Oops. And that's it. Okay, finished. Let's just replace the Again, just to emphasize, you have to turn the spool counterclockwise when you're spooling line and that is the proper way of spooling line on a spinning reel to prevent line twist 
So 164 yards is just about right for this reel. If I'm gonna be using 15, I would have went to uh, uh, size 2000. But since I'll be using this with blackfish and blackfish do fight, uh, I can go 15 and below, but I don't wanna risk it. I believe 20 is just about right. There you go. Okay, so next I will connect a leader to the braid line using a PR knot, okay? Okay, now we're gonna tie a leader to the braid. So what I'm gonna use is about, I would say, uh, about four feet, okay? It's about four feet of leader. I'm just using a monofilament. I I'm not really a believer of uh, fluorocarbon, especially here in the Northeast when the water is not clear. So, okay. So it's much better to cut um, the length of your leader because once you start making a PR knot, your line will twist and it's much better if it, you know, if you've already cut it. So when the line twists, the, the mono will just follow okay we're gonna take about I would say a foot and a half just to make sure of braid and so I'm gonna insert it on the bobbin so with a PR knot, you need a bobbin, okay? So this is a PR knot bobbin. I got this from Amazon. Now, what the, the instructions say is you just roll it like this. But what, I, what works for me is I pull the length of line I need, okay? Which is, which is about, I would say, I would say a foot is enough, okay? Because it's a very fine uh, knot so but you want to have that enough line that when you start spinning the bobbin it wouldn't fly uh, hopefully not on you when it you know it, when you run out of line so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it okay on the bobbin spool but make sure when you're wrapping it around the bobbin that the line is not on top of each other or else it's gonna get tangled so I'm just gonna wrap it so the line is side by side not on top of each other and then you kind of force it in between in between the two rubber rings here so to lock the line in place okay there you go now because this is a light jigging setup and you're not going to be hauling 20 pounder, you know. Um, I really don't tighten it too much, okay. I don't tighten the bobbin too much because this is just a 30 pound uh, leader. Now next. The end, the end of your leader. Gonna grab the end of your leader and the end of your leader will be facing right and then the bobbin will be facing left okay and I'm gonna put them gonna line them up like this so the braid then the leader now I would say it's about what it's about eight inches maybe now the end, I'm going to wrap it around my middle and ring finger, okay. And uh, this is still too long. And the line that should be left from the tip of the bobbin and the tip and the tip of your finger right here on my right, this is too long, I would say just about 
an inch and a half so let's make it a little shorter okay there you go now next what I'm going to do is just oh actually it's much better if it's much better if the wheel is on your right side okay put it on the right side there you go now I'm gonna wrap the mono on my left middle and ring finger okay so now it's tight okay now I'm going to wrap the bobbin around until the tip of the bobbin touches the the leader the mono leader then let me just wrap it around my finger tighter okay now when you do that gonna it's time for the tight uh, what do you call this tight wraps okay on the on the mono and you have to make the wraps going towards the right so initially we were going to the left with the big wraps now the tight wraps needs to be going to the right okay so I'm just gonna spin the bobbin okay now there you go I got it now I have uh, wraps fine tight wraps going to the right now I'm just gonna spin it okay oops wait wait there you go all right now it's making tight fine wraps now this is just a 30 30 pound leader so you don't need need um, you know a lot of wraps about an inch this is about an inch worth an inch worth of uh, knots or wrap wraps around the uh, uh the leader okay that's that's more than enough okay. okay and then i'm going to okay I'm just so i'm gonna remove this just to pull the bobbin and that's gonna remove that and then i'm removing the twist until i get to the pr knot there you go see now that's where the fine wraps ended right there okay it's really tight now it's time to lock the knot and you do that so this is too long so I'm gonna cut it and I'm just gonna maybe leave about six inches of braid now I'm gonna make some half hitches so the half hitches needs to be alternate the way I do that is I make a half hitch by making a loop on top yeah. I bite the So I, I bite the braid, the end, so I can pull it. So that's a half hitch there. And then I'm going to make a, a loop underneath. So that, that will make your half hitches alternate. Bite it. Pull. Then a loop on top. So that's number three. I'm gonna make five half hitches, alternating half hitches. So okay, so number three. Now I'm on number four. I'm, I made a loop on the bottom, so it's alternating half hitches. then I'm biting the end of the braid okay the final one uh, loop on top pull there you go. 
go. Okay. So we lock that, but we're not done yet. Now you're going to cut the excess mono, but you need to leave maybe um, a short tag. All right. I don't know if you can see it, but you have to leave a short tag. Okay. Because that tag you need to uh, you need to burn that. Okay. So just be careful not to burn the braid. So I protect the braid with my finger, just to prevent it from being exposed to the fire. And I'm just going to little by little burn it, burn. All right. Now, when you burn it, burn the uh, the tag, the mono from the mono leader. It will round off the end, the end of the mono. Um, so that will make it smoother when it slides into the guide. And also, I think it will prevent the PR nut from sleeping. But I don't think it's, my experience is it doesn't really slip. Um, PR nut is a strong nut. So, uh, if not better, comparable to an FG nut. But we're, okay, now we're gonna make half hitches again, but this time half hitches, uh, you're gonna tie it on the braid itself, okay? On the main line, so. Okay, five half hitches again. So that's the bottom. Now I'm gonna make a half hitch of the loop on top. Number two, now loop on the bottom. Number three, loop on top. Number four. Loop on the bottom. Number five. Now we're going to do a final loop. So this will be the final knot and the way you're gonna do it is like doing a half hitch but this time instead of just one a half hitch is just one wrap around the main line but this time you're gonna do it five times so one so two so five wraps okay three four Five. Then pull, nice and slow. And then wet the line to prevent abrasion. Okay, voila, and I'm finished. See, it's a, it's the PR knot. It's a beautiful knot. It's so thin. Okay. Usually, well, before this, before I learned the PR knot, I just used to do a, um, an Albright knot, but the PR knot is a lot better because it's so thin. It slides easier or smoother on the uh, rod guide. So we're not done yet. We're almost there. So we're going to cut the excess line here. But you, gotta, you have to um, leave um, a little tag also. Okay, leave a little tag there. You can see it. 
there's a little tag I left and you're gonna burn that tag just be careful not to burn the the braid just the tag okay so yeah, just burn it little by little all right and protect the the line with your fingers there you go all right it's finished look at that beautiful it's a beautiful knot okay all right guys so this is the the rod that i'm going to pair with the pen conflict 2 2500 so this is a tsunami uh, slow pitch rod uh, spinning slow pitch rod and this is a, it's a six foot medium heavy okay a 15 to 30 pound rating uh, line and lure is 30 to 90 grams or one to three ounces which is perfect for what i'm gonna be using it for for tug jigging okay all right so there you go so the this rod uh, this is a good value rod i bought it at uh 99 dollars but sometimes you can buy it for 89 dollars depending on where you buy it i bought it from ebay and uh these are fuji guides and also uh fuji real seats okay so it's a nice rod it's very light too okay all right let me so i'm gonna touch the reel now let's see how it matches to the rod perfect match all right. that's a perfect match there all right okay now next last thing we're gonna do is we're going to tie um, a, a clip at the end of the the leader uh, you can just tie the jig directly but I prefer using um, a clip so you know it's easy to uh, change uh, lures okay all right the last thing we're gonna do is just to tie a fishing clip at the end of the leader so before I do that I always put a rubber bead first so this is a soft rubber bead that I use and my main purpose for this is to protect the end of my uh, the the end of my rod it acts like a shock absorber when you reel too much to prevent the jig or the lure from hitting the tip of the the rod which can you know crack the the guide it happened to me uh, you know, a couple of times and especially if um, i'm lending the rod to someone who's uh you know uh, a novice angler so even myself time to time i forget and i reel too much and the jig hits the end of the tip of my rod and to prevent that to protect that so just uh, just put a rubber bead okay and this is a fishing snap i, I, I think tactical something it's the brand i got it from from amazon this is the small size i think this is a 50 pound rating uh fishing snap and to tie it um i use this tying tool which makes a, a beautiful knot beautiful but uh very strong knot and how you tie it is you do it this way so that's the loop there and there's a notch here and then the end of your the end of your leader you're gonna wrap it around here five times okay 
One, two, three, four, and five. And insert it in the middle. And pull. Okay, before I really tighten it, I would, of course, wet the line first. There you go. And then pull. And it. So that's a very strong knot. It will it will snap but it wouldn't it wouldn't um, slip okay the knot wouldn't slip because the more you pull the tighter it becomes so you just cut but always leave a tag end okay just to make sure the knot will not come undone or slip and that's it okay and we're all good so this is ready for the weekend we're gonna use it the week, over the weekend and let's see how it's gonna perform this will be my first time to use uh, a spinning setup for uh, dog jigging okay so if you like the video uh, please hit the like button uh, please feel free to leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time